Hello, good morning fellow wet shaver. It's Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Welcome to my Wet Shave Experience. And thanks for tuning in today. Today we will be using uh, House of Mammoth now, formerly Mammoth Soaps, almond leather, along with the matching um, balm. <clears throat> I will be using the Carve. Christopher Bradley, I did put the deep plate in there. I went back to the, I don't know, the other handle was the Gladius handle. I don't know if this is their normal handle, if it has a specific name or not. Um, there is a second use uh, Gillette Platinum Blade in there. And I have a new brush in the den, compliments of a fellow shaver. Uh, I did an unboxing video. I thought I uploaded it, but I didn't. So you get a preview of what was in some of the, one thing that was in that box, and that is this brush. It's a beautiful brush. It is a, I think, Kent Designs Moon Soap brush. You can't really see the knot with the uh, soap on it, but it is a synthetic knot. We are all lathered up, beautiful lather there. This is in the tusk base, and he is up. What is up, little boy, little man? What's going on? Did you wake up? Yeah. Yeah? You want to stay up here, or you want to go downstairs with mommy? Stay up here. Stay up here? Okay. All right, so let's see how this goes. Um, I would say this is only my second time I've used uh, a House of Mammoth soap. I had Mood Indigo. I used it once. Um, the scent just wasn't uh, up my alley, so uh, I let that one go. But I really wanted to try these ones, and I dropped my towel, so I'm going to grab that. All right, so let's wet the face and get started. What's going on, buddy? Did you sleep okay? Yep. You know what I dreamed about? What did you dream about? I dreamed about hair. About hair? Yeah. Your hair? No, your hair. My hair? What about my hair? I dreamed about it. You did? What What was my hair doing? It was dancing. It was dancing? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so uh, let's talk about... Uh, so I'm going to use the... <laughs> When he's in here, I get a little bit uh, discombobulated in terms of what I'm talking about and the order which I'm talking about uh, about it in. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna use the D plate on the carve um, and uh, kind of talk a little bit about how that, for me anyways, compares to the B and C plate. I haven't used the D plate in quite a while. It is more blade exposure than the C plate. Um, so we'll see. It's a little thick. I might have underhydrated it a little bit. Maybe not. We'll see. As long as it's slick enough. And all right. As far as the um, scent goes. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. It was What's that? Do you want me to do an experiment? You're going to do an experiment? No, you was. Oh, you want me to do an experiment with you? Yeah. Okay. And we did lots and lots and lots of drinks and the cameras and, and then lots and lots of food in it. You know why? Why? Because it was floored in a bucket. Oh, yeah? And then the one was just using the alibi. Oh, that sounds cool. Yep. All right, so it's been a while since I've used a D plate. I think I've gotten a little bit better with the car, a little bit more comfortable. I'm not actually getting as much blade feel as I remember before. I think previously um, I had nicked myself a few times, if I remember right, with the D plate. Uh, The shave's not over yet, but it seems to be shaving pretty smooth. I could definitely feel more blade for sure. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. I hear your, I hear, I hear your razors. You hear the razor cutting the whiskers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. You hear that? Yep. 
So I can definitely feel the more blade feel uh, in my mustache area. I don't know if my skin's a little more sensitive there. But working so good, so far so good, I think. I get a pretty, I got a pretty, pretty close shave with the C plate yesterday. So, I mean, I don't know that for me personally, I need to improve on that smoothness or efficiency a whole lot. So the C seems to work for me, but I think this is going pretty smooth. Put a little extra water on there. It's a beautiful my brush. What, buddy? My pull-up is still on. Oh, did you want to take it off? Yeah. Go. How about go ask mommy to take it off so she can put it in the trash? Okay. And then you can come back. Sound like a plan? There's going to be going right on time. Yeah. But go ask mommy and then come right back, okay? Okay. Okay, you close the door behind you, okay? Okay. Okay. It's a deal. All right. Okay, I'll see you soon. All right, so we'll get into the second pass here. I got my Peloton ride done this morning. It was an hour ride. I feel like my hair, by the way, is getting a little... The lady didn't cut it as short as, as she normally does. I don't know if you guys have a... I'm getting off on a tangent here, but... Uh, sports clips where you're at. That's where I usually go. I, I don't have a hair person. I just go to whoever's there. But they have like TVs and it's all a sports theme and everything else. And they give you like, after your shave, there's like, they have a, they give you a shampoo, scalp massage, hot towel. Although now they put the hot towel on top of your mask, which is kind of weird. But anyways. All right, so. Let's talk a little bit about the scent on this. Um, <clears throat> the scent strength is a little low. Um, and uh, if you read the scent description or the notes from uh, Ben that he put together, you know, it talks about how life is busy, complicated, whatever. Sometimes you need simplicity. And I would say that this is that personified. Back. You're back. All right, dude. My pull off. All right, mommy, take it off. Yep. All right. Because I can take it off with her. Okay. So, um, I'd say the scent strength on this here. Let's see what uh, Isaac thinks. Isaac, what do you think of the scent? Smell. What is that? Tell everybody. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. You didn't like it? No. Really? Hmm. Well, I don't, don't like what is that black? Yeah, that's black. I don't like like stuff with black lids. Oh, but what about how it smells? It's all disgusting. Oh my goodness! It smells like poo. Oh, okay. Well, let's remember we're on camera, so we got to say nice things, okay? Okay. Okay. Um. I think it smells good. <laughs> I still have my Spider-Man jammies on. You do still have your Spider-Man jammies on. You're talking to yourself. I am talking to myself, buddy. Okay. But everyone can see us. Uh-huh. Those that are watching. I can see them. All right, so... Um, I lost where I'm at. I almost forgot my neck. Um, scent strength on this is a little low. Uh, it's not as low as, sorry, Nate and Mel, but the duo was. Um, but I would say maybe we're pushing a four, three to four, um, three and a half to four. Hey, that's not nice, buddy. We're going to be nice. Remember, we use nice hands. Oh, don't put your phone in my Why? I sink water. Why, Daddy? Why? Good. I don't want your dirty feet in there. Um, so I would say the sense strength on this is a little low. Daddy, 
Budja, Daddy, watch mm. this. Budja, 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 Boo. Budja, Budja, Boo. All right, so send notes on this. Um, it's an, it's called almond leather, which obviously it has almond and leather. Don't fall that, buddy. Can you, you're going to knock my stuff down if you do that. Okay? Um, okay, buddy, but you know, people are watching. And so we got to be a little bit quiet while we're in here, okay? Please. Thank you. Um, if you want to go raw, you need to go downstairs with mommy and raw or play with your dinosaur. Your new one you got from grandma for your birthday. How old? Tell everybody how old you are now. I don't know. You don't know? No. How old are you? I don't know. I forgot. You forgot? Well, how old were you? I don't know. You don't know, uh huh? I'm four. Oh, you're four. Now you remember, see? I'm just kidding. You were just kidding. You're a little jokester. <laughs> He is four. Anyways, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get to the scent. Daddy, <laughs> I like when I'm four. Do you like when you're four? Yeah, me too. Um, I'd say the scent strength again is a little light. Um, three and a half to four. Uh, it's called almond leather, so obviously almond leather. But so this says it has a top note of neroli. I don't really personally get that. Um, and then it has the marzipan almond and then the leather, and then frankincense. Hey, Daddy, I hey, love buddy. you. I love you, buddy. So, um, <laughs> it's kind of like a, um, I get the marzipan, there's a little bit of cherry, but it's it's muted, so it's kind of like a muted, it's not exactly Daddy. the same, but it's a muted cella. Daddy. Yeah? Do zombies drink blood? Do zombies drink blood? Well, you know zombies aren't real, right? But if they were, they probably would. Yeah. Well, vampires drink blood, buddy. I know. And then who drinks brains? Zombies. Zombies eat brains. And they I know he's four, that's, but... Daddy, that's four. Huh? I'm scared that they're going to eat my blood and brains. Well, since they're not real, they're not going to. Well, if they, well, I guess what? Huh? At California, they are real. In California, they are real. I think California does have some zombies and vampires. But they're real, actual real. Actual real? Yeah, and you know what? Hmm. They're coming to other people's houses. They're coming to other people's houses? Mm hmm it's and probably more interesting house. than my conversation anyways. And our house? Yep. Mm. And our house. Mm. Our house I is... know everything. You know everything? Mm-hmm. Mm. What's that thing right here? What do you got right there? I don't know. Maybe a piece of food? Let me see. No, the white thing. I don't know. It's a piece of food or something stuck to your face. <laughs> Uh, I can definitely oh, tell. Oh, Daddy, uh, guess what? what? It's whipped cream from the cupcake. Whipped cream from the cupcake. That makes sense. All right, so let me talk a minute, okay? All right, so I can definitely tell the difference, um, especially on the third pass with the D plate. Um, I'm definitely got, especially around the mustache area, chin, um, definitely got a lot more blade feel. So I didn't really feel it a lot in the first or second pass so much. But this third pass definitely got a lot more blade feel. I think, you know, for me personally, it's the B and the C plate. Uh, the D is not bad. If you like blade feel, uh, there's not too much blade feel. If you like blade feel, the D plate is probably for you. I saw shaving with Serge, he got his first car and he went straight to the F plate. So, I mean, you know, it's whatever, whatever works for you and your skin. Again, I don't have particularly uh, thick, dense growth, nor do I have particularly coarse, um, thick hair. So for me, I don't really need a large blade gap, a lot of blade feel, aggressiveness to get um, a nice smooth shave. And that's just me personally. So as far as the scent goes, let's get back to this. 
uh, almond. Um, so you get a little bit of the marzipan. It's toned down. You don't get it like you would like in an amaretto from Moon Soaps or even like a cella. So it's like kind of kind of mellowed out in terms of the marzipan. Um, I definitely get the leather. Uh, I don't really know exactly what frankincense smells like on its own. So, um, you know, I think it's there in, in the background, in the bass notes. I don't really get a lot of neroli uh, on the top. So, um, you know, I like it. It's nice and mellow. So like the scent um, description says, hold on buddy, let me finish. Uh, like the scent. What? Conversation. You're what? I'm conversationing. You're conversationing? Yeah. Conversationing. There you go. Okay. Um, so, yeah. if you're looking for bold and banging, this is not it. This is nice, <laughs> mellow, chill. Uh, you get the almond, you get the leather, you get a little bit of the marzipan Boom. and the cherry. Yeah, um, watch this. Boom! Oh, yeah. Okay, let me finish, buddy. Okay? Sit right there. So overall, it's a pleasant scent, um, not too strong. So we'll um, get the bomb. We'll rinse the face, get the bomb before we completely forget what we're what we're doing here. You took it downstairs, buddy. I don't know. I don't think you brought it back up. I did not bring it back up. Yeah, you might go check with mommy. It's downstairs. All right, it's so. Behind, it's behind the gray couch. Okay, well, if you want to go get it, you can go get it. No, you. <laughs> I'll yeah. keep an eye on your stuff. You'll keep an eye on my stuff. Okay. Well, let me just finish here and then I'll go get it, okay? All right, so. Uh, the base, as far as the base goes, it's very nice. It was uh, plenty of cushion, plenty of slickness. Uh, the test base was, was great. I'm not really a technical base guy in terms of the differences between all the base. I got a good shave. It was uh, worked well for me. And uh, so this is a bomb. This is made, I think, in... Uh, careful with that, buddy. That can hurt. Hey, don't do that. That can hurt. Um, in uh, collaboration with Chicago... I think it's Chicago Grooming Company, formerly Olio, and I got too much. I think I got a little too much. So there's no like. Hold on, let me finish. There's no restrictor or pump on this, so and potentially easy to overpour. But, but hey, buddy, let me finish, okay? Please, I'm asking you nice, all right? Don't, don't give me the evil look. Oh, we don't do that ever, buddy. Remember? Um, anyways, pretty thick, so let's get it on. Goes on. It's pretty, uh, I, I don't know why I want to say oily, but I get more leather in this than I do in the soap. Um. Daddy, watch this. Oh, yep, yeah, you dropped it. So a little bit more leather in here than the soap. A little less marzipan, I feel like, in the splash. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, anyways, so a little bit different than the soap. A little less uh, marzipan in my in my what mind. A little bit more leather. It's to clean your glasses with. Um, and uh, scent strength, though, is probably about the same. I mean, I think we're we're three and a half. I think you'd be pushing to get to a four uh, on a scale of one to 10. So anyways, there you have it. So to wrap it up, we had House of Mammoth Almond Leather. Nice scent. Uh, very cool, sweet looking uh, Moon Soaps Kent Designs brush. And uh, we used the carve on the D plate. So hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and we'll see you soon on the channel.